I loved how you started uh, with this clear vision. It seems like your vision uh, and purpose and your, you knew your desire. Uh, most of the women that come to my office, of course, they need help, but they need help with finding their own desire. Mm -hmm. And it's super interesting to check, if, uh, to, 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 to realize that they, they don't know what they want because they're too connected to what the others they love need. Right. So uh, it seems like you've had your own ambitions and talking about ambitions with women, it's harder. It's, it's yeah. easy to approach the subject with men. Okay, it's okay to be an ambitious man, but is it that okay to be an ambitious woman? I don't think so. I don't think that people really encourage us to be more. You were already a doctor. What could you want more than that? Are, don't you want too much? So I think that this is really beautiful that you knew that and that you had this purpose. And then using the consultancy as a step into entrepreneurship. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, there's been a few across right through my career, actually, right the way from even from applying for medicine. And to your point about ambitious women, and I do I agree that it's less it's less accepted perhaps that women can be ambitious and really bold with what they want and what they're demanding when I was at school and I was applying for medicine for example I remember even though I was a straight A student always did really well at school I remember that my teacher tried to almost discourage me from applying to become a doctor because it was almost you know well what do you think you're doing I did it anyway and I got my I got my position with no problems whatsoever and then when I wanted to leave medicine to go into consulting it was that same narrative of well what do you think you're doing you know this is where you belong you've done you know you've you've this is the career that you've chosen and you have studied it you've worked in it what a waste it would be to move into consulting I never saw it as a waste I saw it as I see it as stepping stones in the journey but people will try and talk you out of things because they think that you kind of belong in this place so I've always been someone that's kind of gone against the status quo in that in that way. 